uh, you are a soldier. Do you think they use it as a war strategy? For sure, because you know those people, they are no match to the Israeli. Same time, the Israeli should know that this is what they did, the same thing they did, ISIS, Al-Qaeda in Syria. In Syria, what they do, they dig a tunnel under the ground, under the army base, the, the Syrian army, and then they put ex explosive under the base, and boom, they kill everybody in the base. So they cannot attack the base from the top of the ground to kill the, uh, the, the, the army, but what they do, they dig a tunnel under the base, and then they put a lot of explosive, I can show you like videos, you will not believe it. Let me see if I can find you some. This is a very old tactic the terrorists they use. And it will be very stupid if the people say Israel do not know about what they do. This one will make you have an idea of what those terrorists do. Very easy tactic. They cannot go and have war against the, the enemy which in this scenario was Muslims anyway. So what they do? They dig a tunnel under the ground. In the picture here, you will see at the end of the uh, video, long, uh, long distance, this is where the army base. And now let us watch together and see what will happen. They will, now they will do explode. Here we go. See? And they are screaming like a bunch of monkeys. You see here? So the army base is, they think that they are safe. And they don't know what's going on. And those terrorists, they are digging underneath of them for a few months. It takes a few months to arrive there. And then they, all what they do, they both explode, uh, uh, you know, explosion material. And boom. And then everybody is dead. As simple as that. So if the Israelis do not know that, you know, that will be, that even will make it more stupid. So this is a tactic always they do, always they use, since Osama bin Laden and even before. So how the Israelis do not know? Obviously, the cabinet in Israel deserve, deserve to be demolished. All those who they are in charge of the intelligence and the prime minister, he should go and face a court, martial court, you know, and uh, uh, he should have a very severe punishment and penalty. Him and all the high officers who were asleep, enjoying the ranks of salary, enjoying having a flight for free, uh, bodyguards, but they did not do their job. And this is what happened, you know, always. They claimed they are watching the enemy. They were not. They stopped even watching Hamas phones for the last three years. Why? They said because it's, they notice it's useless. But uh, all of this is not uh, convincing to me because Israel have a drone. Gaza is just across the street. It's not like different country. It's not Iran. So they can monitor Gaza every day, 24 hours a day. And it doesn't make sense that people are digging in the ground, taking out dirt, and nobody noticed that dirt is coming from this place. It doesn't make sense. Everything happened, you know. But I am somehow I'm glad that it happened this way, not worse. Because imagine if the attack against Israel happened by many countries at the same time. Israeli, they were asleep. They've been taken into surprise. They've been stupid. It was Sabbath. And the stupid ones of Israel, they thought that the Bible says don't do any work. So what they do? They turn their phone off. This is how stupid they are. You are in the war zone. And what do you do? Uh, it is Sabbath. So we turn the phone off. How stupid you are. So there is many, you know, many lessons the Israeli will learn from what happened. And I believe that will change everything. Maybe the Israeli should say thank you to Hamas. Seriously. Because Hamas exposed the weakness of the border and how what they prepared for the border, it was a joke. So maybe, okay, you lost uh, a thousand, maybe 500 people, no problem. It's a nation. A nation can make babies and more, more men and women they will be. But a major defeat it cannot, cannot uh, you know, can destroy the nation. So what happened is a great thing. It's exposed their stupidity, exposed their ignorance about the enemy. 
and make them understand again, the Israeli, that it doesn't matter how many peace agreements you sign, you are just a stupid. Those are Muslims. They believe in killing you. Peace agreement is temporary. The problem in Israel is the same the problem in USA, like those hippies who go, they want to free Palestine. They are gays, lesbian, homosexual. If they go to Gaza, they will kill them. Same in Israel, they have the same kind of people. Hippies, people who color 1,000 colors for their hair, they think life is just to make, make love, not war. You know, make love, not war. It's, it's a statement. It's like, a, it's like their God words. Make love, not war. Make love, which, which is sex. Not love, you know, love. Even the word love, they make it, they make it about sex. So those hippies, actually, they are the one who get, they paid the highest price. The one who was in the Nova festival, most of them, they are homosexual, uh, lesbians, etc. Hippies, you know, uh, and they are the one who paid the high price. And I saw a video of a guy. He says we are uh, left-wing uh, society. You know, they have like a, a little village, and the conservative live alone. The left wing, they live, they live alone. So this guy, he had ears in his uh, earring in his ears, and he was saying, "We thought we can have peace." I'm really confused. This is what he said. He thought he can have peace with the uh, Muslims. They keep keep calling them Arab. They don't know that this is about uh, this is about Arab. It's about Islam. And then now the Israelis do not even know who's the enemy. They think it's the Arab. <laughs> They don't have the intelligence to name the enemy. They don't even dare to say it is Muslims. They keep saying Arab. This is how stupid they are. What is the one who want to kill you in Pakistan? He's an Arab. Is the one who want to kill you in England? He is an Arab. What Arab? But anyway, ignorance is a disease. And it's going to take a lot of sacrifice to make those people understand that their enemy is not, is not about Arab, this is about religion. This is only about religion, nothing more, nothing less. Hamas is, a, is every Muslim. When they say to you, like there's videos about now people, they are revolting against Hamas, but not against Islam. And you need to make a separation. Now they notice, okay, uh, they, are, they are not upset from them for killing Jews, no. They are upset they did not calculate correctly. People of Gaza, they are not upset because Hamas slaughtered and raped Jews. No. They are upset because our houses are gone. <laughs> and this is what the Israeli until now don't understand. They think that Gaza people, they care for them. Look, they start talking against Hamas. No, they are not. They support Hamas. They were, they were dancing in the street. What happened now, they are, they are feeling the consequence of a wrong decision. They themselves, they sponsored. Every one of them, he would like, he would love to see you dead. So, you know, ignorant, what you can say, hippies, hippie culture, hippie leader. Even the conservative ones in Israel, they are hippies. They don't know what they are talking about. And not only that, many of them, they are stupid. Look, look you want to win a war, what do you do? So now we, we, we get a bunch of guys and we attack the Arab, regardless of who they are, in the neighbor. And that supposedly will make our security better. Very stupid plan. When you do that, those people they will be angry and they will uh, they will attack you when they can. Why you are making? Why you are? Why you are doing a stupid? You are just being the same as Hamas. So it's going to take the Israeli a lot of time, a lot of work to understand who is the enemy, and I don't think even they got it until now. I don't think they knew who is the enemy yet. Like now, after all what happened, uh, Joe Biden, he want to push for a peace agreement with uh, Saudi Arabia. The first question you ask yourself, what is that would do? If we sign peace agreement with Israel, with Saudi Arabia, what that would do? Nothing. In fact, that will make Israel more exposed. Because now Saudi, whom major number of them are terrorists, they will have access to Israel. You bring the Saudi to a country, the country is screwed. 
The Saudi, they sent one guy, his name is Osama bin Laden, he screwed Afghanistan. Just one. You send the Saudi to Indonesia, he opens schools teaching terrorism. Just one. That is the truth. And those ignorant, they do not know they are fighting who. I hope that people, they take what, uh, what we learn seriously. This is not a joke. Your enemy is very aggressive. And your government is stupid. And they keep sugarcoating your enemy. And in fact, they defend your enemy. In fact, they give them right over your right. So you better be aware of what's going to go and happen to you and your neighborhood. Let us hope that this coming Christmas, not many people will be killed because of the peaceful Islam. And because Joe Biden, he believes Islam is a good religion. And same as all fake leaders in the world, even Netanyahu. They say Islam does not teach that, right? I mean, look, look at stupidity. They, like, you know, they didn't know that Muhammad, he said, you know, time will come and you will kill the Jews. They don't know. Because they do not know. So they investigate Hamas member and they ask him, but Prophet Muhammad did not teach that. Imagine an Israeli saying that. Islam is a beautiful religion. So instead of saying the truth that your Prophet Muhammad is a scumbag and all the problem is because you're a prophet, this is not about land. And you know, I noticed that these people are you know, stupid. They, they, they worship celebrity. Celebrity now is the one who teach you about Islam. They are expert. They even know numbers of terrorists. They knew how many terrorists in the world. An actor in a movie, he don't even know how to say the name of Muhammad correctly. He can tell you numbers. He can tell you who is a terrorist, who is not. They are professional. You know? So just, you know, make those show famous people. Tens of thousands will watch the video. But the reality is, none of them he is saying the truth, and none of them is, is expert in what he's talking about. It's like going, you know, in the old day, People, they go to the barber shop to fix their teeth. I'm serious. The barber is the one who fixed teeth. So he cut hair and fixed teeth. How he fixed teeth is simple. He, you know, tie your tooth with the rope and he put it out. So if we are still learning about the truth from people who do not know what the truth, how the truth will be received to anyone? We'll never. But anyway, I believe that the truth will never be there. It doesn't matter really how much you teach. Because always the one who occupy, uh, let us say, the front line of the media is the one who don't say the truth. If you say the truth, it will not be there. They will not even let you stay there for a second.